right, folks, I wasn't going to videotape this repair because I've already gone over some electrical issues on another video, and I thought I'd just be repeating myself. And to tell you the truth, I I didn't I didn't think I was going to be able to fix this one. Oh, because uh, because I didn't have because I wasn't enthusiastic about it. I, I you saw it in my video for the new Kubota tractor I bought. Sorry, the new old. Kubota tractor I bought and so I've been doing things to that one getting it ready for winter getting it ready to plow snow and stuff and this one just was going to be sold off because I don't need it anymore it doesn't do anything around here it would just sit uh, I took the front snow blade off of it to put on the Kubota uh, there's no more deck for it I, I really just don't have a use for it so of course I pull it out get it ready for sale and instantly <laughs> realize it won't start a perfectly good running tractor for the last two years and now it won't start but I want to try to sell it isn't that just the way so you'll see if you look in here I put a new coil on it first of all you know I try to shop local so I ran over I was looking for you know serial numbers on this engine couldn't find any I was pretty sure that 1971 MTD 14 horse single cylinder cast iron Briggs would be good enough at the parts counter It was not he says now nah, there's different ones. You're gonna have to go find he says it'll be on the shroud You know probably on the top of the shroud So I look at the 16 horse ones out that I have out and about but and they do but I look at this one And now there's 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 no numbers cast into that shroud anywhere. There is a um, a missing sticker <laughs> off the side which probably is it but uh, Anyway, I got to thinking, well, I'm just going to go online and see what Amazon has. And uh, there was, you know, coil, 16, or I think it said 7 horse to 16 horse Briggs single cast iron. And I just hit the button and bought it because Amazon is just so convenient. And it was here like the next day, maybe in two days. And, uh, of course, it's not the same, though. I, I need to look at it and go, well, I just wasted my money because it doesn't, it just doesn't look like the one I took off. It's got, you know, two wires coming off. So the one I get only has one wire, and uh, not even a wire, I had to make that. It just had one um, prong. And, uh, well that's the end of that, but I'm going to try it anyways. So I put it on, and I can't show you now because i got it turned around, but on the housing, and you can't see because it's dark, just trust me on this one thing. On the housing, on the other side, it says out. and you know that means out right away from the engine away from the cylinder and I got spark out of it I was like wow this thing's you know I, I took the plug out laid it down looked at the plug as I turned it over and she was sparking but it would not start no matter what I did put a little gas in a little ether little spray would not start so off the internet thank God we got YouTube where all the smart people are and off to Tyrrell um, Tyrrell doctor and I found another guy that said, and I just, I could not even really believe it. They just said, just turn the coil around. It, I don't know why they say out, but they're really supposed to be in. <laughs> so I figured, well, what's a, it's only two bolts. I'll give it a try. So yeah, I take the two bolts off, turn the coil around, lots of spark again, stick it in the cylinder, no start. Put a little spray down the carburetor, starts right up, immediately goes to idle. And it's beautiful now so <laughs> of course I had tools and things all over the tractor that were starting to shake and fall off and I thought well I'll just shut her down I don't have the shroud back on or anything I, I still got it in test mode the nose has to come back off again here so that I can you know get that shroud and stuff on get all the different bits I have laying around back on but you know <laughs> it's funny now some things just work Oh, it's there. It goes. Nope. Well, it's a little too loose. There it goes. Alright. Shut her down. Shut her down. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, don't uh, don't always believe what you read, I guess. So, this is now electronic ignition, is what it is. This isn't an original 
point style coil. I didn't know. I just bought something that said 16 horse Briggs. So here I am trying to hook it up to the points. I'm trying to check the points and everything. Then I go back online and I take a look at someone's video and they go, oh yeah, no, this bypasses the points. You can, you know, put the cover back on the point. But this is now electronic ignition. And apparently the way it's supposed to function is with the word out, out, you have to send the flywheel into Briggs and they'll um, uh, reverse the polarity on the magnet on the flywheel. But <laughs> why, why wouldn't they just say you reverse the coil? Why does it take folks on the internet <laughs> to say, I mean, in the instructions, it doesn't say anything about that. Anyway, uh, hopefully someone will stumble across this that's struggling with the ignition system on their 14 horse Briggs. It probably applies to all kinds of different horsepower Briggs, but how about just saying single cylinder cast iron Briggs, you're going to convert it to electronic ignition via a new coil. You can maybe try it with the word out, out. Uh, you know, it's I, I'll bet you dollars to donuts it won't start. But when it doesn't, just take the two bolts off, regap it with the credit card. Here's my two pieces down on the floor down there that I used to gap it. Uh, yes, I know I have feeler gauges there too. <laughs> I was being a little bit lazy. Uh, 12 thou is what you'd want. You know, I think between 10 and 14 is what you'd want. Um, but that's it. It's going back together now, and this one's going up for sale so I can get back on that Kubota project, get some space in the shop here, and move forward. All right, I'll. Let's get her finished up, and then the next thing you're going to see is it uh, backing out of here. sale. 